Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And sometimes a card isn't enough. And today I'm going to allow you to listen in to my heart when it comes to my thankfulness to God. I am a treasure seeker when it comes to meaningful cards. I began this quest long ago as a young believer. Remember, I mentioned a couple of videos ago, the link is right here, how I learned about the love of God through that retreat in my high school. Well, I worked on the back end of that retreat for a while as well. And as a ministry team member, I was asked to write letters to the retreat participants. These letters were meant to be love letters from God and written by those of us who were really hoping that these people would catch the fact that God loved them. Many of the participants, just like me, had a little understanding that God loved them as an individual. And so I spent many hours writing those little love letters and I learned I had a gift of encouragement. Although most of the people were strangers to me, they were not strangers to God. And so when I asked the Lord if he had anything he would like me to share, a uh, Bible verse, an inspirational thought, a quote, or whatever, I would spend time and he would give me a few nudges here and there. And at the end of almost every retreat, those who received a letter from me told me how much my words hit them right where they were at on a very intimate and personal level. You see, I asked the Holy Spirit what he would like to say. And the Holy Spirit always encourages us. And that is what he would give me to say. As the years passed, I became very much aware that those who are in leadership sometimes need words of encouragement and thankfulness more than you, you would think that they would. And so I began to collect thank you cards to pass out. Now, when it comes to giving thanks to God, though, I have yet to find a card, a sentiment, a picture, or a word that can possibly adequately express the gratitude in my heart. I, what can I say to the one who not only saved my life, but adopted me into his family? How can I possibly express my thankfulness for his provision spiritually, emotionally, and physically? How can I express my gratitude for his friendship? He not only dares me to call him friend, he's the one who held out his hand in invitation to friendship first. How can I thank him for his healing touch? I mean, come on guys, how do you find the words to thank him for his unconditional love unmerited favor and his forgiveness. Dictionaries and thesauruses cannot help us, but all I can say is thank you, God, with the hope that those humble words convey all that is in my heart. Back in the early 70s, Andre Crouch wrote this song, and this song has always moved me because he expressed my heart so well. So I'm going to end with this. How can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Things so undeserved and yet you gave to prove your love for me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude.